Welcome Trolls. <laughs> Well, there she is, y'all. That bugger that I'm going to try to get tonight. But, you know, I'm hoping that it's not going to be any chemtrails, right? Because that would be a problem. Maybe I'll leave the volume on. Guys, just listen to the birds that are here. So that's going to rise up. Listen to what I hear at five in the morning, my neighbor. Listen to how loud she is. Because I go to bed late. I do a lot of work really late and I go out with the telescope. That is definitely why I would not have live streams outside, having the neighbors go by. I, I tried once to do a live stream a couple summers, two summers ago, I was sitting outside and I was saying, hey everyone, and the neighbors were going, hey, how's it going, bro? And I'm live streaming. <laughs> So this is the moon with the P900, the Nikon P900. And, oh, there's a little problem. How come my P900 is not filming orange anymore? Listen, since there's no chemtrails, it's totally, totally different. The skies are definitely clearer. There was only one little stupid chemtrail today. Imagine since like 10 days or 12 days, something like that. But wait till you see the clear 4K 14 inch footage. Hey y'all, you guys wanted to see me take out the telescope? I should do that for you guys. I have three weights, 75 pounds, I'm gonna take out, hey. These are the weights. It's bright, it's warmer. For the first time, we're in Canada, right? So I'm gonna get the telescope out. I'm gonna show you how to hurt your back, how um, a telescope crazed maniac that wants to get out fast is going to do this. So I got you guys back there so that you can actually see me come out with the telescope. I'm going to show you. This is not the recommended way. Because I do want to show you what I have to do each time when I go out to get the moon. This is about 175 pounds. Okay, so we're gonna set up Big Mama to get to the moon tonight, I hope. There we go, everything's ready. I'll give you guys a view of it. I never think of doing it because it's, I don't bring it out in the winter I have to wait till the last minute to bring it out to film, and it's always at night. But now, I'm going to take the time to get out for you and show you exactly how I set up. So, the base is out. Moon's right there. Okay. The optical head. Alright, 
So, this is the optical head, and that's what is doing all the filming. So, the moon's in a perfect position. The minute the sun goes down, there's no chemtrails. Clouds are everywhere except for where the moon is, so hopefully we'll get a chance to be able to see the moon, the actual moon. So, you want to go on that side, bring it as close as you can, obviously. So, oof, now we're set up over here. Hello. <laughs> so, this is where we're going to sit the optical head. And obviously, guys, the moon is going to be exceptional. I'm going to get it extremely clear tonight. So, yeah, this is the optical head. Bring up the optical head right there. And I sit it like that. And then. That's no good. So you lift it up. You sit it like that. There you go. None of these bullcrap ways of people lifting it up with lifts. While I can do it, I'll do it this way. But the telescope is already set up. Maybe I can show you guys a simple connection. I'll set up. And I'm going to explain something to everyone on how I do the filming and how I'm looking for the UFOs to get you exactly accustomed to exactly what I have to do outside what I'm doing and how it's not exactly fun while you're filming but it's more fun when you're when you're actually watching watching the movie inside so let me take that off the tripod try not to shake too much for you all so there she is So there she is, already all set up. Moon's in the sky, actually. And the camera's set up. So this is the Nikon D850 at the back, all clean. I keep it all, everything clean, no dust on this baby. So very simply, you got to unlock. The locks here those are the mirror locks so obviously when you're done with the telescope and you bring it back in you just want to lock these you have to lock them so that the mirror doesn't move and get this you know out of adjustment and these are for moving around these two screws right there that one and that one there if ever i want to go to arizona and bring my telescope well i'll lock the mirrors in permanent place with this to be transported these 14 inch scopes are actually used a lot scientifically and they're actually pretty I'm out of breath. It's pretty easy uh, to handle and to, to uh, manage to, uh, of getting it around. It's a beautiful telescope. And, uh, of course, there's a the remote. Beautiful remote to have all the simple panning that I do. And uh, let's see how we connect it. So... Lots of stuff on this one. Connections. Simple power button right there. On and off. Swivel there to unlock the heads. This. And I lock in place the optical head once it's sitting there. So Marty, what Marty has is Marty has a pillar, right? He has a, a pillar, a cement pillar. So he's going to actually have this part all the GPS part holding the optical head that's going to be sitting on the top of his pillar. It's going to be pretty awesome to see. We're going to have some fun, Marty. So, I finally got the scope out to show you guys the scope. Thanks also to all the generous contributions that come into this channel. You guys, the community makes this channel. Isn't you beauty? Beautiful piece of work. Can you guys see this? This is simple power connector but a very powerful powerful one because you know you want something that's going to last at least a couple of hours this one does last seven eight nine hours i can last all night with it it's got a also you know a light on it velcro and everything i connect this to the bottom um underneath just have it dangling from the telescope so it's out of the water and a very simple
connection at the end that goes into the side of the telescope, very simply, one of those regular um, connections that everyone has. So let's see this really quickly. I have three weights to put on the telescope. I always put on at least two weights. So this is the bar. It's a very heavy metal bar. And this is what holds the weights. And it's just at the bottom of the GPS. And once that's in, I won't put the three on, but I'll show you just quite simply at least one. It's a simple thing. You know, people say it's stupid. Everyone knows how a telescope works. Well, no, not everybody does. So we put the weights on. This is 25 pounds. And I'll get the other two weights on underneath. And then when we're ready to film, take off the cover. Thanks a lot, Christy Lindsay, for the generous contributions. Thanks for being here, everyone. <laughs> Say again, please. Uh, here's the way we've had a problem.